assalamu alaikum dear students and welcome to my channel and today uh, i will discuss the expected questions on the pre release material by june 2022 and uh, as in my last video i have explained the the scenario in detail and and then i have explained the uh, the solo code and then the uh, outcome of the program in much detail so in my current video i'm going to talk about the possible questions that can come related to the task 1 task 2 and task 3 and you know in the pre release material and in the paper 2 the section 1 it carries uh, 20 to 28 marks and uh, the section uh, one is divided into a uh, various questions and i have tried to make these questions from the my last uh, distributed the solo code and when we see the task 1 uh, the very first thing that you need to know is about the the data structure that are used in the task 1 like uh, in task 1 we have used the ticket type the cost for one day cost for two day extra attraction cost per person day so these were the data data structures that we have used in task 1 and they were of type string 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 and then three things you need to know about uh about these data structure one is that you should know the name and then the data type and then the use of that data structure you should be very clear about its use like the ticket type data structure which is the array it is going to hold the different types of the tickets that is uh, given in task 1 so cost of one day cost for one day and it is type of string and this so i have written all these uh, data structure which are arrays and their data types and their description and then the question possible question for the task 1 2 and 3 and they are likely to ask about the variables about the constants or the data structure which you have used in task 1 and 2 1 2 and 3 so you need to remember the name of that data structure which you have used and the data type which you have assigned and then the use of it so uh, this is the one possible question and in which you can be asked to write one array from task 1 and one variable from task 2 and its uh, its name its data type and its use three aspects you need to remember while referring to uh, these data structures or the variables and then you can be asked about the variable you have used in the task 3 you should know its name data type and the description so when we see the task 2 there are couple of uh, variables which we have used in task 2 and they are like choice extra attraction temp extra attraction choice so these are various variables and these are the data types and these are the description which i have written over here so with these uh, of these variables and their data types and the description they can be called and they can be asked in your very first question and that is you where you have to recall their names and then their the data type you have assigned and then the use of those uh, data structure variables or constants and while writing these variables or the data structure or any other identifier you should know you should remember that uh you are going to write the names of the structures which you will be using in your pre, uh, in your task 1 sort of code or task 2 or task 3 sort of code so if you have a difference in writing the name here and while writing the task 1 i will show you in the next question if uh, in task 1 you are not using this variable then it is going to be uh, an incorrect response and definitely it will less in your marks so the second thing in the task 2 when we talk about task 2 it contains the validation as it is this is one very important uh, requirement of the of the pre release material that all the data entry 
they must be fully validated means no incorrect data should be accepted only the correct data should be uh, accepted and incorrect data should be rejected and there must be the proper prompts at all entries and uh, the user must know that what he is entering and if there is an error the user must know what is the error so i have uh, written here various validation which were used in task 2 and i have explained it that how these validation they will work so you can check it and i have explained these uh, these parts in my last video so in order to understand them you can refer to my, my last uploaded video on the previous video so the possible question that can come on the task 2 is that describe two validation checks that could be used when inputting the number of ticket to buy for task 2 for each validation check give one example of the normal data and and one example of erroneous data or abnormal data so the validation check we have used over here it can be presence check or uh, like in task 2 we have used the presence check and uh, the children ticket cannot be opted if the adult ticket is not opted as this is the entry need given in the prm and normal data it is one adult ticket is one if children ticket is two no adult uh, ticket opted and try to opt children ticket so validation check two that is the range check the person in group must be more than six in order to avail group discount it will reject the group discount if the number is less than six so this is the range check this is another check which we have used and the validation check to the normal data is 6 or more and the erroneous data is less than 6 then comes the question uh, of uh, writing the pseudo code of task 2 of task 3 uh, can be task for task 2 and task 3 so i have now uh, mentioned here write an algorithm for the past part of the task 2 that inputs the ticket choice day choice and any extra attraction use either pseudo code programming statement or flow chart so for the task 2 i have written all the uh, but here it's not talking about uh, it's in this question uh, it's not asking for the whole task to be uh, rewritten but it's just asking to input the ticket choices day choices any extra attraction availed so it's not calculating the uh, the order so it's just taking the ticket type so i have rewritten all the ticket type and you can rewrite the pseudo code in such kind of questions and if they ask write an algorithm for task 2 using pseudo code programming statement or a flow chart assume that the task 1 has been completed they might can ask to write the whole task 2 so you can write the task 2 uh, as it is given in my uh, last uploaded previous material solution with the video i have uploaded the the pseudo code as well so you you need you can write the whole pseudo code over here okay one type of question is not to write the algorithm but to explain how you ex how you did any particular part or how you did the whole task so in in such kind of questions you need to write in in sentence form or in paragraph form and you need to describe and you need to explain how you did that task and any statement any program statement any pseudo code part can be referred as an evidence of what you're saying okay so uh, i've just i've just uh, written uh, only a few lines to give you an idea remaining you can write yourself explain how you extended your program to complete task 2 any programming statement you use in your answer must be fully explained in task 2 the first step is to provide the option to buy the ticket using while and while loop then the user will be asked to enter the ticket type shown in the menu in task 1 so you can write you need to narrate that how you did the task 2 and you have to touch each and every uh, step of your solution of your pseudo code and you need to describe each and every line of your task 2 in your own words and you you just can define the the way and the purpose of writing these lines and when it comes uh, to a question of explaining how you how you did the whole task or how you you did only a particular part in uh, in the expected question they can ask for the whole task to be 
explained or they can ask only the part of the task two to be explained like how you calculated the uh, total amount or the booking uh, the booking which you uh, including the ticket type including the extra fraction so these kind of things then the variable which were used in in task three these were the variables which we have used and the question that can come related to the task three is explain how your program completed task three include any program statement now here again you don't need to write the sort of code you don't need to rewrite the sort of code of task three rather you need to explain it in your own words and explaining it in you in your own word means writing in the sentence form and sentence form means you can define each and every nine of the task three in your own words and uh, you can write and you can you can give reference to uh, to the lines of uh, your task three if needed and you have to attempt this kind of question in the same way as i have explained for the task two so then explain how you calculated the best value of the ticket purchase in task three any program now it is only talking about the part of the uh, task three in which you are calculating the best value the method which you have used to calculate the best value and uh, in in that you can refer to the sort of code of uh, the task three that uh, the best value is calculated by uh, just considering the two main types of the ticket one is the uh, adult ticket and the other is the uh, the person in the group so the best value is related with only these two categories if the adult ticket is more than 6 then you are going to compare it with the with the group ticket and if the and the second is that if the person in the group is 10 and then you are going to compare it with the family ticket so only these two uh, aspects uh, take us to to evaluate the uh, the choices in order to reach the best best team okay so this is how we are going to uh, define we are going to uh, solve the task 3 question and you can explain it in your words and i have written all the uh, variables which are used in it in the task 3 so there are many variables and uh, and this is how we can rewrite it explain how you calculated the best value so i hope this video will help you and especially when you are going to prepare for your final exam and i know that the exams are very near and uh, i am also going to upload this these questions in my description and will uh, expect that uh, you students will get benefit of it and inshallah you will have a very good paper thank you very much and uh, allah hafiz